you guessed it, today we're looking at the Meepo Hurricane Ultra. What's so ultra about it? Well, let me explain. So first things first, obviously you've got the gear drive option now and it's pretty cool. It has really nice power. It's a little bit noisier, but not that much noisier. One con is it adds a little bit of extra weight to the rear of the board. But if you're not carrying it, it's not a problem. As always, any time throughout this video, if you're liking the content, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you are new here, hit the subscribe button as well. The next big thing I really, really like are the configurations. This thing comes in bamboo with TKP or traditional kingpin trucks. It comes in bamboo with double kingpin trucks. It comes in 3K carbon fiber TKP and 3K carbon DKP. Now that's the board options, then you've got the wheel options. You can then choose between their Cyclone racing wheels or their brand new tubeless Cyclone wheels, which is what I've got on this particular configuration. Now the next change, and I'm going to say change, not upgrade, because some people will say it's an upgrade, some people will say it's a downgrade. But the next change is the battery. For the Hurricane Ultra, it comes with the Samsung 40Ts, coming at 691 watt hours. There is a second battery option as well, which is pretty cool. It's not available yet, but it will be Samsung 25R cells, so 18 650s. A lot less range, smaller battery, and I can only assume it'll be a cheaper price point. Now the next thing to talk about is the aesthetics. As you can see, they have changed how it looks. There's a new grip tape pattern. They've added some really nice sort of uh, gel bubble hurricane badges, sort of classed it up a little bit. Much smaller Meepo logo now, instead of having the big one in the center. Very sort of stealthy, I really like that. And it's coming with the new, I think it's the M5S. Let me see, yeah. So it's coming with the new M5S which is actually really growing on me. Woo. the beautiful unscratched deck. Right now let's cover off on the gear drivers because they look fantastic. They sound really nice and they give really, really surprising performance. Woo! Holy moly. But it kind of feels exactly the same as the Hurricane. That's my opinion. I really love the Hurricane. It's probably my go-to carbon board at the moment, especially if I want to get some nice carve on. This one will be my new favorite because I love the sound of those gear drives, but I'm not sure if there's any real extra performance. 
one thing I will say, there seems to be more torque on the acceleration curve. So you could be sitting on 30 or 40. So there's 30. And it still punches, which is really cool. And when you open up the gear drives, you're met with a really clean system. And it's got the big drive gear there. Looks really nice, really well made. A real simplistic design gear and pin system. The main gear is made out of the same, I can't remember the name of it, but it's a really good quality hard plastic, which a lot of people have assured me wears really, really well. That probably helps with the noise, I'm guessing. One thing I would question, and you guys comment below when you see this footage, is there enough grease in there? For me, after looking at other gearboxes, I feel like it needs a little bit extra grease. I'm gonna put some in after this ride because I really wanna look after these motors and this gearbox. So tell me your opinion. Is there enough grease? Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. to the enclosure and this is one area that I was really surprised and delighted so really happy about when you open it up you're greeted with a really really clean setup the battery is housed in a really nice box and the ESC is separated beautifully wired up nice heavy gauge wire not covered like not just like smeared and silicon everywhere they've done a really good job on putting this together. When you open it up, it just, it feels like someone's actually taken some pride when they've built it. Well, we've just run out of footpath, but not a bad place to run out of somewhere to ride. Woo, look at this. It's really not a swimming beach, but it's pretty. Now, I saw a coffee shop back there, or coffee van. I suggest we head back, talk about the board, do a little bit of a wrap up, uh, and I'll cover up anything that I've missed because I'm sure I've forgotten something. Oh, it's quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I've ridden from Toomble and I've, the battery hasn't even dropped yet. Uh, can I just get a small on black, please? Yeah. Oh, it's hot. Let's let's wrap up um, the Mipo Ultra. Awesome board, but you'd expect it that it's got the the DNA of the original Hurricane. Really, really good performance. Really comfortable deck. Uh, good size battery, 691 watt hours with the 40 T cells. Almost half that with the 25 hours, but you can't buy that at the moment anyway. Love these wheels. Hot wheels! Okay. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely love these tubeless CNC wheels. These are really nice. The tires grip really well. Now as for the bamboo and the TKP, that's the one I really wish they had sent. I really wanted to compare their TKP trucks against own boards and against tinies. They didn't send it. Would have loved to have got their bamboo deck, but again, they didn't they didn't ask. If they'd asked me, I would have said, yes, definitely send the bamboo with TKP. I'm not complaining. I love this thing. The gearbox, the 6374 motors are 3,500 watts each. Like, look how fat this is. It just looks menacing. Here's the big question though. If you've already got the Mipo Hurricane, do you need the Hurricane Ultra? Or do you need to buy those gear drives for your Hurricane? I don't know. I can't answer that for you. You need to decide on yourself. I can tell you my choice. I would go for the Ultra purely because I love the sound of those gearboxes. Well, 
that's it from me today. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Meepo Ultra. I've really enjoyed filming this one and riding it. I just spilled my coffee everywhere. As always, if you've got any comments or questions, chuck them down below. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Getting close to that 10,000 number. And don't forget, we've got the New Zealand vlog and the Las Vegas vlogs coming up very, very soon. But until then, skate safe, wear a helmet, and we'll see you on the next video.